Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be doing another 1v3 and this time we've got a brand new map. It's going to actually be Highland. I don't get extra population for this one, but it's going to be a classic 1v3. I'm currently sitting around 2700 ELO, 2800 almost, rank 1. And we got Arno Arno at 1150, Lidge Key at 1100, 1050, and then Niels DeGraff at around 1100. So uh, around 10, you know, 1000 to 1100. And they're actually a group of six Dutch friends who've been playing AV2 from when the game came out and they still play regularly and right now they're currently at um an annual game weekend where they play land games for three days which is super cool shout out to the dutch community uh, in age of empires awesome to see them playing land events and we're gonna hop right in say glhf of course wish them some luck wish them some fun and uh let's go ahead and hop right in uh truthfully i actually don't even know how this map looks like it's been a minute since i played highland and of course i get bulgarians God, if I was streaming right now, my chat would be going crazy with exclamation mark Bulgarians. If you know, you know. Um, it's been quite the meme uh, recently. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. They got Burgundians, Franks, and Saracens. Um, actually, this guy, uh, he was about to pick Franks. Then we convinced him to pick random. And then I think he got Franks, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, red wanted Franks. Red wanted Franks. We convinced him to go random. And now his teammate got Franks. He's stuck with Saracens. The opposite of Franks. A camel sieve. Um, but yeah, man, I haven't played Highlands in a minute. Surely never played a 1v3 on Highlands, so uh, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, let's see what I can do though here. All right, go ahead and just do the standard start. Might not lure deer as much this game just to see how the map looks like because I insist it's just uh, not something I'm familiar with right now. And it's something I recommend, like if you're playing mega, mega random or something, just scout the map. If you don't know what the map looks like, figure that out. Ideally, we know how it looks like before we hop in, but you know, you know, things happen. Things happen. What can we say? Go ahead. I hope you guys are still enjoying these one v threes. By the way, um, it's been quite a consistent, you know, video series on the channel, and honestly, feedback is, is still good, and the the views are still good. So just let me know in the comments if you guys still look forward to these. I try to mix them up and keep them as entertaining as possible, going random sieve, keep the commentary nice. So just let me know how you guys feel about them. I'm still loving playing them, honestly. Um, I'm still having a good time playing them. So I don't plan to stop on my end uh, anytime soon. But uh, it's always good to get that community feedback in. All right, this looks like a massive woodland, by the way. Okay, small crossing here. That means like controlling the water is going to be kind of important. I am going to dock just because I think there may be one or two deep sea fish. But for the most part, I believe it's a land map with just like some crossings there. Uh, apparently, they've been practicing all morning, by the way. So uh, I guess they, they are going to be pretty strong. Uh, I'm not going to lay them. I'll just leave them there since I also don't know where his TC is. All right. Yeah, I have those four deers. They're like calling me to, to lure them. I mean, you guys know how I, I usually lure deer on these uh, 1v3 games, but... In this particular case, this might be the first exception ever, right? Just have to scout. See what's happening. Um, fun fact, actually, to those who might like not have been there at the start of Definitive Edition, at the start of DE, you couldn't actually ban maps in the rank pool. So you had to play all kinds of maps, and Highland was super popular. Like for some reason, it was always in the map pool. And so um yeah, and so, you know, I actually played a lot of Highland when, when the game first came out. But obviously, it's been a minute, so I don't exactly remember it. Um, but I do remember playing a lot of it. Uh, and that was a really good thing for me, by the way, to play a lot of Highland. Uh, or, like, different maps in general. Uh, just because I was able to uh, become better as a player on, like, hybrid maps. I used to be, like, an Arabia-only player. So, yeah, early DE days, man. It's been a while. I'm, like... It's already nostalgic for me. It's been like four years at this point. Five years even. And we're closing in on five years. Four and a half. And um, yeah, that's how it was. You just had to play everything. Obviously, there was like a race to rank one as well. <laughs> at least I made it a race to rank one. Basically, I was trying to grow my Twitch channel. Where I was actually a really small streamer, right? Uh, not that I'm huge now. But, you know, it's going a little bit better now at least. Um, I was trying to grow my channel. It was pretty small, and I, the way to, the way I tried to do that is just by like get, you know getting to rank one, and letting everyone who came new to DE know that I was like you know a competitive player and pushing for the you know the highest ranks. Uh, worked out pretty well. Had a definitely a spike in viewership when DE first came out. So went from like 200 viewers average to like a thousand viewers. Now we're currently sitting around like 1500 to 2k average. So 
We've grown a lot in the past few years, but that was a huge spike initially. Anyways, enough about me. Let's focus on the game here. That's what people came to see. Get that second boar in. Definitely get another house. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. I do kind of know what the map looks like now. That's kind of fine. I, I will fast castle on this one, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I don't think I'll do too much with, like, scouts. Like, this guy's already kind of walled up a little bit. I plan to, like, use the... Um... Let's get more on this. Use the water to get a nice fast castle in. So the scout loss wouldn't matter too much. At least, hopefully. I hope they don't kill me fast. Whenever I try to fast castle... It's always a huge risk if they just kill me fast because I have no defense, but it's a risk I have to take here. Crossing there, okay. Nice, actually a good amount of deep sea fish. I'm pretty impressed. Nice, just drop off there. Alright. And I think we do loom. Nah, they're not gonna attack me. It's fine, it's fine. They won't attack me. I'll still put three on gold. But I will just skip loom for now. I'll get it a bit later. I really hope they don't attack me. The rule is, as soon as someone hits Feudal Age, you can start attacking. So, in theory, they could attack me, but I, I just hope they don't. Alright. That deer is juicy. Do I take it and come back in time before Feudal Age? I think I will. Oh, especially if he runs towards me. Great. Oh, this is a trap for sure, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I can just tell how he was walking. He's gonna get trapped. Very nice. Okay, perfect. That guy's a bit low, but it should be fine. And I think I'll market blacksmith. Um, <clears throat> what if I just go for like a bit of a boom? Since I have water, I think I can just boom it up. Like I don't have to attack them early. You guys always say if I don't attack someone early, I, I can't win this. But I I'm pretty sure I can win if I just boom it out as well. Especially with water, right? Like, water should ha should be a huge help. Uh, I say that, but the fish is looking a little suspect on this side. Dude, did I just dock, like, the perfect area? I docked three deep sea fish. That's really impressive. Um, The positioning on those isn't great. Ideally, you want to try to wall. I have a really good wall on this top side, though. You could also wall the crossings, but I'm not going to do that. Because uh, they're going to be really hard to defend, since it's, like, not near me, right? So walling the crossings wouldn't make sense for me personally. For them, it makes a lot of sense, though. Uh, did I do one more? I don't need this. I will put this guy back, though. Let's click up. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, TC here for sure to take advantage of the deer. I remember those deer. I'm not going to forget them. I want to eat them. Oh, by the way, and this is turning into like a story time for me, but I have one video on the YouTube channel, right? It has like almost a million views. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it might actually have a million views. And I went through the comments the other day just to see like if people were new. And there's like, some nice comments. People were like, yo, what is this game I want to play? Or like, what version of Age of Empires 2 is this? Or like, I remember this game. I'm so nostalgic. But then randomly... There was like a hundred, I kid you not, like a hundred comments that scroll through a bunch out of like 500 that were all like, is this guy speaking English? I can't understand a word he says. And then another one is like, this guy keeps mumbling, I don't understand him, and I'm a native English speaker. <laughs> there was a hundred like that, I kid you not. And it was just like, do I mumble that much? I hope I've improved that, because that's like terrible. People can't understand me. It's... I blame it on the microphone. Nah, but for real, I've always had a problem with mumbling, but it was honestly just hilarious uh, to, to see those comments come in like that. Alright, now we gotta really focus on the game, because they're starting to attack me on water, so they definitely did their homework there. That's what they're supposed to do. But it's okay, water just gets me to a nice castle. Is this guy gonna get walled in again? Or also? I don't think so. Do I even fight water? 
It's worth fighting it a little, I think. Bait, bait, bait. Ah, oh, he saw me. Damn it. Drop it off and go back. I'm gonna do TC here. On the stone. If I get rushed, I have it as defense. Perfect. And then here, it's like a really safe TC. Don't know if I get heavy plow. You block with fishing ship. So you always win the fights. And then like a villager, you just run it back when it's low. <laughs> or you lose it. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. As long as I win the fire galley fight, it's actually completely fine. Yellow's higher score than me. That guy's the goat. What the hell? Red is using a scout though. Yo, what? He's gonna get away with that as well. Now we're gonna develop the boom. Oh. Actually, the killing all the scouts is fantastic, by the way. Gonna invest another fishing ship into this one. Yeah, they're doing what I thought they would, which is control the crossings. This is why I think this boom shot's great. Like, they're still in feudal age, right? I have such a such a big village lead on all of them. And now the cool thing about Bulgarians is that I can actually add in extra town centers without needing to mine stone, which is actually quite nice. Like Bulgarian boom is a bit underrated, a little bit underrated, because mining stone is usually like you're out of your way to go for it. Oh, Scout Rush. Okay. Get a demo. I want to keep him interested, though. I want to keep him interested to buy time. Yeah, yeah, it's good, good, good. Keep him interested. Nice. Almost there. Yeah, it's going to be rough. No, no, I, I should make one. I should make one. I definitely should still make one. I didn't get heavy plow on purpose, by the way. So I can mix in some uh, some fishing ships and also mix in some water units. But that's the reason I skipped it out this time around. I usually get it when I pure boom. But I'm happy to skip it right now. And then, yeah, I can just pick it up, uh, obviously, a little later than normal. I don't know if I should continue fighting water. Out of gold. Get more onto gold, though. More on a stone as well. I think the best unit to go for is Konak here. Because I think Konak is the one unit that doesn't die to help, like, straight up. It, it, it's okay against help, at least. And I think that's definitely solid. Uh, I didn't wall that side. Maybe that was a good thing, though. Good, good, good. Found my fishing ship. All right, I, that's fine. I, I really don't mind if he wins water. Doesn't bother me at all. Another cool trick on water. This one is really nasty. You stand behind your dock. Oh, he knows about it. Does he? If you stand behind your dock and you hit him, you actually don't take any damage. Your dock soaks it up. Let's see if I can get him with that. Yeah, the dock is soaking up all the damage. Except this guy's hitting me a little bit. 
that must coming out. Kind of like a glitch spot. I can Borderlands 1 when you're farming Cromorax. If you know, you know. Oh, please. This devil's in a smack. I don't need it yet, though. Ah, whatever. Let's go for it. Take Krepos, because I don't really know what's out there. And I also want a barracks. Yeah, we're going to go Connex here. This is really nice. Some extra stone. And you know what? I'm going to get a Krepos here, just to have defense. What did I say? You don't know what's out there. Holy moly. Look at that. Pro player intuition right there. Alright. Do we let him get this? Let's poke him out. <laughs> God, it's so annoying. I'm annoyed on his behalf, guys. Ah, he got me. So I got another one to block now. <laughs> it's so dumb. I'm holding water. The reason I'm doing that is just to keep them distracted, by the way. I do this a lot these days when I want to, like, overwhelm someone. I try to distract them with something silly. Because I know I'll get less distracted than they are with it. I know it's not important on my end. Oh, no. Knight's coming in. To ruin the party. We're having a good time. I could get the trap here, though, potentially. Oh. Oh no. It's fine. Didn't work out. <gasps> really? How did he know I was there? It's how much. It's not a big deal because now I have to defend myself but i also don't want to be on defense i want to attack first look at the scores they're doing pretty well i can trap him oh he just wants to fight it's madman i'm getting that because the connex need to upgrade them even the infantry you have to upgrade right Conics really don't you don't lose melee combat. They're, they're still strong in melee combat. One of the best units in melee combat in the game, actually. Even versus camels, I'm not that scared. And they are Saris and camels, though. He doesn't have both lines. If he's not watching, we're going to destroy him. Okay. need a castle by the way looks like i lost that fight this is actually a lot harder than i thought can i get a castle here if i can need a castle for stirrups oh Cavalry, this is a kind of okay for me.
We're really gonna go crazy now. Ah, that's why I was losing the fights. I didn't have bloodlines. That makes sense, makes sense. I was losing some fights I should have been winning, but that's okay. Now we should be fine. Eco. I turboed really fast the population here. Now 150. And now we want to get the arson. Second armor for infantry. Such a sick, unique unit, the Khan. I could really enjoy it. I don't often play with them, but when I play with them, I'm always impressed by how good they are. Can I just go for the castle? Let's go for the raids, maybe. This is a hard map to raid, though, and I, I have to really push the crossings. Thank God I got that one. Oh. Uh, Piper would have got that. Happens. Still fine, still fine. Mac throwing away. So I need to get murder holes. Nope, 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 nope. Wait for the tonic, then we stomp. Also need to get stirrups. Should have got that earlier because now I need a trap. Oops. Blacksmith works fast at least. I really enjoy that. I need elite conk. Sorry, elite, elite conic. Actually, I can raid this guy. Hold on. Green is open on this side. Well, actually, it's going to be red. Red and green. Then the reinforcements come here with deal with yellow. Uh, just to get more apples. So yellow's gonna have Paladin. I'm not really scared of Paladin, though. I think I win. I'll get that in case I need to go Halb. Yeah, you know what? I think we tech Halb on the low key. Just because just because of gold. If I have infinite gold, I don't go Halb here. But in case gold becomes a problem, I need to be able to go for that. Ram and Knights. Oh, actually, those camels are scary. Back up. I'm not ready to fight camels. Let's wait for elites. And all the upgrades are coming in still. This is okay. Just to help the crepos a little bit. After elites, we'll do a couple trebs. No more vills, yeah? <laughs> Fish traps, those are a little bit inefficient, man. <laughs> but don't worry, I don't know how to place the good ones either. Uh, a bit painful. Castle's giving me a lot of anxiety. Now we just fight, I think. Where Elite is coming in. If I can lure him into the Krebos, take a better fight. Why not? Ah, uh, let me in. There we go. This, this should be good. It should be good. Camels don't do anything versus Conics. I am. It's not a very good. Yeah, there you go. The Elite Conic with Stirrup is just so strong, but now he's got Paladin. That's scary. I think I need some helps for those guys. Conics actually beat Paladin, but like I said, gold is kind of an issue. I need to raid hard now so that I can just deal with uh, with red. Sorry, I can deal with yellow. Yellow seems to be the strongest player. I'll deal with him on my own time. Nice. Murder Holes comes in clutch. I love that tech, by the way. I went from loving it when I was a kid. Everyone liked Murder Holes when they were young. Then I started hating on it a little bit. It was like kind of useless. Not hating on it, but you know, it just didn't really get it often. Now I'm back to loving it again. It's like the cycle of life with Age of Empires. I like is that... Conics are just good against everything. They can kill buildings too. Uh, you're just gonna dive? Really? Animalistic. Repair? Oh, I don't know about that yellow. I don't know about that. Like, you might get the treb, but I think you lose a lot of paladin there. That's worth it for me. Make another treb right away. That's definitely worth it. You lost a lot of paladin. And I'm raiding the other two guys. This is looking really good. 
So I have to go fast though. I don't have population boost. So this is one of the situations where it's looking good. But I've been here before and I've lost. So I've got to go fast. Delete some bills. How Conic is so strong. It's like how Paladin made a video about that. It's it's the same thing. Maybe even a bit better. This Conic is like kind of better than Paladin. At least in some cases. It has one less pierce armor and 40 less HP than Paladin. But it has yeah similar stats elsewhere, I guess. Actually, I want to dive that guy. One monk will not scare all my Conics away. No, no sir, no sir. Go fast. This guy's gonna have a nightmare time dealing with helps. He needs to go ahead and near. That's what he needs to go for. Alright, so I'm gonna send my villagers as well, because I wanna get a castle on this side. This extra vision. It's good. They cleared me up on this side. Maybe time to send another uh, regiment over. Maybe there's a stone or a gold there. I'm kinda desperate at this point. Nice. Yeah, let's send another regiment over this side. Honic. I want to sell my stone. Ah, nothing. No minerals. I have husbandry. This seems so slow. Okay, I'm trebbing him from melee range. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. Ah, I can take some gold though. Oh, that's fascinating. Nice. Oh, it's looking really good, guys. It's looking really good. Got the raids on yellow. The melee range trebuchets as well. <laughs> Why not? Now we get the raids here. Like, how do you stop Conic? Green is still castle, for example. He can't deal with Conic's at all. I didn't have as much gold as I thought. It's running out, but it's still decent. Masonry. Now I want to raid the pocket, and then here I raid red. I think yellow's toast. Yellow's toast. Nice. I get extra gold. This is huge. This is so crucial. Oh, he just hit him. Go, 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 go. We need to kill a lot of green right now. It has to happen. Uh, could kill those guys. I mean, not that much. Like, uh, Connex can go pretty much 1v3 there. As far as the ratio goes. Mm, actually, maybe not. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Nah. Eh, let's see. I think Connex win that. Check back in a second. Can't watch my screen, obviously. Halps can move. Get some outposts there. Very good. Did the Conics win? Oh, the Conics won. It was like 4v... It was like 4 or 5v10 there. I was like... We won comfortably. I just want to spam Conics. No more, no more helps. No need because I have gold access now. And I always have to win these games fast. So you spam gold units. Oh, sneaky bugger. In the back of my base. That's so low. Going for the raids. I respect it. I mean, he's got stables everywhere. <laughs> Makes sense. He's got the raids going. Uh, going strong. Uh, okay, looking like he's got one more cast. I could kill that with my Halb slash Conic. I don't really have any siege in the vicinity. I could also go with one treb just to kind of guarantee it goes down. I think it's an outpost. Definitely not a bad idea. Oh, I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the conics are destroying the castle. You know what it is? It's the stirrup tech. The stirrup tech makes them attack faster. Did that just rise from the dead? The stirrup tech made the um made the castle go down so fast. Oh my god, because cavalry is not supposed to be that good against killing buildings, but that was insane. GG well played. GG well played. I'll drop a well played to them as well. It was a Somewhat close early game, but I feel like as soon as I got the Conics, man, I was kind of steamrolling. Conic Halb, super strong. I think they didn't expect me to pure boom, by the way. I think that was a smart call on my end. I'll pat myself on the back for that one.
getting away with the free boom allowed me to uh <laughs> i don't know what's going on here um it, it really allowed me to number one have a simple and easy to execute game plan put the ball in their court to attack me and i had a great map to defend and then the fish just got me there right i bought so much time fighting for water and i get to enjoy a 20k score for me feel like an absolute titan around here nice nice we didn't have any any throws no hiccups once we got going we actually played pretty well now it's just green left all right gg i drop another gg sometimes that happens in team games you have to say gg to each of them individually all right oh i'll go for his castle if he doesn't want to resign we're good okay he's gonna he's gonna call it ggs Really fun, uh, really fun session against these guys. They were in a land. Look at yellow did. He got so much vision on water. I think they put too much emphasis on emphasis on water though, because like, yeah, they had like a palisade gate, but that's easy to break. And there's only two crossings. They should have like five layer stone walled it if they wanted to keep me out or at least buy some time. So a little bit weak on the defense. Maybe they underestimated me a little bit. Maybe you know they got caught in the land environment and they were just chatting and having a good time amongst themselves. I really hope they enjoyed it. Uh, I had a blast playing Highland. Honestly, kind of a throwback map for me as well. Like I said, it's been a it's been a while since I've played it. I never did it on a 1v3 as well. 167 vils, Bulgarian domination. Take a look at that. As soon as I got going, I really got going. Yellow was the first victim, then red and green shortly after. Uh, really fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed it on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys did. And if you guys want to play me in these 1v3 games, challenge me with your friends. It's a service I offer. Join my Discord. There's a fee to every game. But aside from that, it's open scheduling every game goes to youtube and i love playing against my viewers it's always a good time people are just so kind and and, and fun to, to talk with as well which is an added plus to doing these games against you guys so definitely something that's there uh, if you guys want it and if not check me out on twitch check me out on patreon and check me out on the like button down below see you guys next time and uh, have a good rest of your day peace